Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, remember to go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you always get notified of when I post a new video. And if you're a subscriber of mine, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video of mine. I appreciate it. So today I'm going to be talking about the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer with a Satin Finish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test this concealer out. I'm going to put it on my skin. I have used their other camo concealer, which I really did like a lot. It was a little drying. So let's see how this hydrating satin um, finish looks on the skin. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start out using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with Satin Finish. The color I have the concealer in is in medium peach. So let's go ahead and get started. I have tried their regular concealer before, the one that looks very similar to this, but it's not the hydrating one, it's just a regular camo concealer, and I really did like that one. Um, it was a little bit drying, so I'm kind of interested in seeing how this uh, concealer performs and how it looks on the skin. I don't want to put too much either because I know their other one, it was like you only really needed a little bit. And um, it gave you good coverage. So let's kind of see how this goes. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Like I just use, I just literally took it out one time and put it on my face. So, well, you know what? I have a little spot right here. So I'm gonna put it there to see if it will cover that up. So let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna use this um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and we're gonna go ahead and spread out the concealer and of course I already have my foundation on my skin I put concealer I know a lot of people don't put concealer right here but for some reason I have a little bit of spotting here and on this side so that's why I tend to put concealer in that area if you ever have seen me do that and we're wondering why Okay, so, uh, I don't know, I really can't tell yet. It's very similar to the other concealer, in my opinion. Um, I think if I remember correctly, the issue that I had with the other one is that it kind of dried out quickly, so you have to spread it out pretty fast. Um, so let's see, yeah. This one is not drying out so fast. This one does, and the other one had the same thing too. It's got like this, almost like a kind of like a powdery texture to it. I feel like it's kind of all over. It's very, um, it's kind of sticky. I mean, it doesn't feel sticky, but like when I'm doing it with my sponge, I feel like it's kind of blotchy, like all over the place. It's hard to spread out. I guess that's the right word I'm trying to use. It's hard to spread out. Maybe because of the consist consistency of it, I feel like it's kind of hard to spread out to get it even on my skin. So... We'll see, we'll see. It's a little light, the color. And I feel like it's like kind of all over when I'm looking at the camera, I feel like it's all over my face, which I guess I did put it all over my face. Okay. So now that I have the concealer literally all over my face, Let me, because I can literally just go rub this all day long. Let me just finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys about the concealer. Um, definitely a little white for my skin. You really only need a little bit, um, but I felt like I needed more because, it, like I said, it was it's kind of hard to spread out. So, But let's see. Let me just finish my makeup, and we'll see how, what the end result is. Hopefully, it looks a little better, so we'll see. So I went ahead and put the rest of my makeup on, and I have to tell you guys, so the concealer, well, number one, the concealer I picked out, the color was a little too light. Um, and then the other thing, I think 
Well, I think the final like outlook or the outcome of it, I think it um, looks really good. I think I have a little shadow there. I think it looks good. I think I did a good job of covering up my under eye bags, especially like looking like straight on. It looks really good in the camera. Um, so I like that. And it's nice to kind of have like a lighter color eyeshadow because I feel like it kind of highlights, um, especially like if you're putting it, not eyeshadow. It, I think it feels good to have a lighter concealer, especially when you're putting it under your eyes and like in this area, because it just highlights your face. So it kind of just, like as far as like when you're in a camera or you take a picture, like this whole area looks really good. Um, and in person too, it does. So that's okay as far as that. I guess I would just have to have like another color of the concealer if I'm gonna conceal kind of down here and like any blemishes and things like that. But as far as for under the eyes, I think it looks perfect. I think it looks great. I did put bronzer on because I did think the color was a little bit lighter, so I put bronzer around my face. And then afterwards, I kind of dusted my whole face with bronzer because I just feel like all my foundations and concealers are just a little bit light right now I, because of the, I don't know why I keep doing this with my hand, because of the, um, you know, we're just going from winter to, to spring, so I'm getting more of a tan on my skin. So, but um, as far as the concealer, I didn't really like the way it applied, like it, it kind of dried out quick. Um, it kind of dried out quick and when I was spreading it out, it seemed a little blotchy around my skin, like, you know, like patchy, patchy. So I put the concealer on and then as I kind of try to blend it out, it's like I have a spot here, nothing there, it's kind of all over the place. The end result, I look fine. It, like with, once I put everything out, the rest of my makeup on, I don't see Looking at the concealer now, I don't see where it looks blotchy on my skin or anything like that. I think, and you guys can see too, I can get a little closer. I think it looks fine. You can't tell anything. It was just something about when I was applying it. And if I remember correctly, it's been a while, I'll have to watch my other video, but I think the other Cambo concealer had the same issue where, because it, it's got like this powdery texture to it um, almost. So it does kind of dry out quickly. So you just gotta be very careful. So like maybe you could just do it under your eyes first and then spread it out around your eyes, then do the rest of your face. Don't put the concealer all over your face and then wait to spread it out in the sections because it might get dry and then it's gonna be a little patchy. Um, but that's just something, an issue with applying it. As far as it looks, it looks beautiful I think at the end and I think it did a really great job of covering everything out, everything on my face, you know? any marks or blemishes and things like that and under my eyes, it did a great job. The texture of it, it feels fine. It doesn't feel, um, it feels good on the skin. It just feels very, like nothing, you know? Uh, what was it, what else was I gonna say? Oh, it is a satin coverage. Um, it does. Well, I noticed that when I was applying, it kind of has like a satiny look to it, much more than their original camo concealer. So it definitely does have a satin um, kind of finish to it. Uh, let's see. It, it says it's full coverage, which it definitely is full coverage. I, it does feel hydrating. Um, I, I wouldn't take it... When it says hydrating. I wouldn't... I don't think it's an extreme hydrating. Maybe as you sit it on your face for a while, it's really hydrating. Um, but like I said, when I put it on, it felt kind of dry, like that powdery texture. So it didn't seem like it would be very hydrating. But like I said, I don't know. Maybe as I go out through the day, I'll do a check-in with you guys, at least one check-in, because uh, I kind of have a crazy busy day. But so we can see, because maybe it is hydrating. So as it goes out throughout the day, it just looks very hydrating under skin. So what else does it say? It says it's used to conceal, contour, and highlight, which I can understand. And I like that it does have the big, it says, it actually says on the box, oversized doe foot applicator. So you can see it actually says oversized doe foot applicator on there, which it does have a large applicator, which I think is good, especially if you're gonna use this to um, contour with. So that's good. What else does it say? I just wanna see if everything that it says that it does, If I feel, it says long wearing, um, which I, I could see that it would be long wearing. Um, I don't know yet. Camouflage those pesky spots and, and under eye circles with high coverage, hydrating, long wearing concealer. So when I do my check-in, we'll see, you know, how it's looking and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so for right now, this is how it is. Looks good, feels good, so we'll see. I will see you guys in a few. Right now it is, let's see, 
It is exactly two o'clock right now. So perfect. So I'll check in in a few hours and we'll see how the concealer is holding up. Okay guys, so I am back. It is four o'clock now. So it's been two hours. Um, this is gonna be my only check-in. I know it's only been two hours, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I wanna just kind of talk to you guys about how the concealer is holding up and how it's looking. Um, there is a little bit of creasing, which I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's under my eyes. And this is a thing with creasing with concealers under the eyes. I have under eye wrinkles and when I smile, you can see my wrinkles. So I don't think necessarily it's the concealer. Of course, the drier the concealer is, every time I smile, it's gonna leave those impressions. If the concealer is more moisturizing, then it may not necessarily leave those marks. So, but I don't think that is anything to do with the concealer so much as it's inevitable with me because I have under eye wrinkles so I feel like I'm always gonna get that you know with a concealer especially if it's like kind of more on the dry end which I know this is a hydrating but and it is but I definitely feel it has a little bit of dryness or powderiness texture to it um, but but whatever so that's that's the kind of that issue with like the little lines um, but like I said, it's my wrinkles, so. Um, the other thing, I think it does a really, really good job of covering everything up. Like, I think everything looks good. I took a couple pictures earlier. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, I took a couple pictures earlier just kind of playing around and stuff, you know. And um, I thought that it did a really good job of covering up my under eye bags. The concealer looked really good. It covered up my imperfections. So I like that about it. So it's got really good coverage, which it's a full coverage concealer. So that's good. I mean, it's a drugstore concealer. I think this concealer was, uh, let's see. I don't remember how much it is. This concealer is $6. $6. Like, I think it does a really good job for $6. Like, you're going to spend like $30 or $40 on some concealers and they're not gonna give you as good as coverage as this did. So this is really, I, I forget that sometimes, like I'm sitting here reviewing a product, I'm like, oh, it's not that good, or this and that. But no, it is, it's really good, it was only $6. Um, so yeah, did a good job of covering up. The only issue was, like I said earlier, it was that little bit of like blotchiness or patchiness when I was spreading it out. I think that if you put it in one area first, kind of spread it out and then do the next area, you'll be fine. But I think it looks really, really good. So I'm very um, satisfied and happy with this concealer. I will be using it more often. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Um, like I said, I know it's only been two hours, but there's a little bit, I always get this. I don't think any foundation, any concealer I use, I just get, I have, tend to get oily during the day and I have like breaking up a little bit around here, but it looks good. And you know what, with makeup, if it breaks up, so touch it up. I mean, that's what I used to do before I was, doing videos on YouTube, like you look in the mirror and your makeup's a little oily or it's a little this, use the blotting pads, do something, kind of touch it up. But, um, so yeah, so I'm out guys. <laughs> this is it. This is the, my review on the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button below. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Bye guys. Love you. See you very soon.